Thanks for scoop. people have with legs, you're afraid to fail. You got four, almost 400 pounds on your back. It's a lot scarier than bench pressing or, or failing with curls. So uh, load up that weight, get a safety bar, or get the safety, the safety rack, tell a partner, and take your ass to failure every now and then. You never know how strong you are until you fail. You're a beginner. You make sure you have the proper form, and then you go. It's just a, it's just a mental barrier. It's a little bit scary. You got 400 pounds on your neck. You don't want to fail. baptism by fire leg day is a different kind of beast you know it's not enough to just come in and train your leg with a few uh, machines with just putting them on uh, you know the leg curls no if you want a lower body like Tom Platts or all the bodybuilders you see today if you want your lower body to match your upper body you gotta do things like squats like lunges so our first our first exercise was back squats we did three warm-ups three sets uh, eight to ten reps that last one I wanted to overload a little bit but for those just starting out when you look at your leg you get your vastus medialis or your vastus lateralis your vastus media medialis you got your vastus intermedius um, you have to develop a full quad and then you have your bicep femoris or hamstrings so from the side you should strive to get to look like a parenthesis you know as we get as we get lower contest prep lower calories we start bringing out the cuts the definition um, we're doing three exercises today for quads. We're doing two exercises for hamstrings. I guarantee you schedule legs with a partner for Saturday morning, it'll keep your Friday nights honest. Nothing like having to wake up early, get your ass into the gym, knowing you gotta squat, you gotta do lunges. You gotta do deadlifts. That's real. There's nothing better to get it done on a Saturday morning, especially legs. Get to wobble around the rest of the day, right? Nothing like legs in a contest prep mode. Five weeks out from the Olympia today. Feeling a little flat today. Don't have a lot of carbs in me. It's a little tough. We got 207 in the morning. Coming down. Seeing progress each week. Lots of progress this last week, so keeps you motivated. When you start, you know, keep keep a journal. Keep things consistent. Consistency is key in whatever you do in life. So getting in here when you should. Going to bed when you should, eating when you should. Now, I'm not saying that life isn't going to happen. You're not going to be able to, you know, be perfect all the time. Life's not about being perfect. Life's about the journey, and it's messy. And if you can embrace that mess, that chaos, 
more power to you. you know? Leg curls don't need much of an explanation other than a little pause at top to flex, toes come out, to really work on that insertion where that quadricep, that vastus medialis inserts into the knee. This is where we start shaping. negatives, working with that positive part of the lift, letting him fight the negative. and Jojo today. Some people say it's enough just to get to the gym. Uh, 
I'm one of those people I don't believe that practice makes perfect. I believe perfect practice makes perfect. You know, leaving no stone unturned for that little bit. I don't want to step on stage thinking in the back of my mind. Should I have done one more rep on that leg girl? Should I have done one more exercise? Hell no. That's not what it's about. Win or lose on that stage, I want to know I've done everything. I'm my best. I'm unhappy with that.